Good morning students how are you all today we are here to start up our new chapter that is the torrid zone you all are aware about the torrid zone that lies between the equator to tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn so today we are here to discuss that in detail about the torrid region this region has further two categories the first one is the equatorial rainforest and the second one is the tropical desert here we will study about the vegetation wildlife and people living in these two heat zone that are these are all both are the heat zone the first one is equatorial rainforest and the second one is tropical desert so before starting that just look at these pictures what do you see in those in these picture the first picture represents to the desert and the second picture represents to the forest similarly the first we are going to discuss about the equatorial rainforest and the second we are going to discuss about the tropical desert what do you see in these both picture definitely the first picture represents to the desert and the second represents to the forest which of the two places do you think will be very hot desert is considered as a very hot area so sahara desert and kalahari desert mainly considered as an hottest things and on but here if we talk about the equatorial rain forest it is considered as also hot and humid region so now we in this chapter we are going to discuss how the forest is hot and humid moving further which of the two places will receive more rainfall you have to search out two places which receive more rainfall mainly in india it is considered that meghalaya and kerala receive more rainfall but you have to search it by yourself and after that write the answer with the point of view by taking the forest and desert how is the climate of these two places different from the place where you stay so you have to discuss this question with your parents and after that you have to answer it by yourself so moving further now we are going to start our first chapter third chapter that is the torrid zone so first topic is the equatorial rainforest now what is equatorial rainforest it is mainly found in hot and humid region along the equator we have already discussed the torrid zone lies along the equator so that's why the equatorial rainforest is a hot and humid region that lies along the equator it is mainly 10 degree north and 10 degree south to the latitude 10 degree north and 10 degree south to the latitude so where we found these types of forest this is mainly found in africa south asia amazon river south america indonesia malaysia and some part of australia and india so now moving further how's the climate there we have already discussed that it found at hot and humid region so how's the climate the climate is quite hot and humid as well but along with that we discussing about the rain forest it means we will definitely get or, or we can able to say we will definitely saw rain there so the climate is hot humid and wet wet represents to the rain so the climate there is quite hot humid and wet throughout the area year so how it is different at the different time periods like if we talk about the day day is quite hot and if we talk about the afternoon we will mainly saw a rain at the afternoon and that's why that rain is known as four o'clock rain the rain which we found in the equatorial rain forest is four o'clock rain so now we are going to further discuss about the plant life in that particular region how's the plant life as we discussed there is a plenty of rainfall heavy rainfall or plenty of sunshine plenty of sunshine means excess sunshine excess sunshine means that it lies near the equator that's why we have discussed in the previous chapter that thing you know, the places which is near the equator got plenty of sunshine because the direct rays from sun will hit them and the growth of plants was there plants or trees was there is quite dense how is the dense like one tree is here one tree is here one is here each and every tree grows very close to each other it represents to the dense growth so hopefully you got it now we are going to discuss about the different layers that we found in plants of equatorial rainforest the first one is forest floor always remember whenever we talk about the land portion or a plant area the starting portion will downward because we always started from the land 
द फर्स्ट इज फॉरेट फ्लोर द सेकेंड वन इज अंडर स्टोरी द थर्ड वन इज कैनोपे द फोर्थ इज एमरजेंसी लेयर नो वट इज फॉरेस्ट फ्लोर फॉरेस्ट फ्लोर वी एज वी सॉ दैट इज इट इज वेरी क्लोज टू द ग्राउंड एंड इट रिसीव लेस सनलाइट वाई इट रिसीव लेस सनलाइट बिकॉज द सन केम फ्रॉम हेयर एंड द सनलाइट विच डायरेक्टली एट द touches the plant is at maximum at emergency level because and the forest floor is quite down that's why it receive less amount of sunlight and the mainly the plant glow is here decomposed what do you understand by the decomposed that they gradually or natural it is a quite natural process they shed their leaves by their own so moving further the next one is under story what is under story it is dark and damp layer consisting mostly of fern shrubs and short plants so short plants ferns now what is under the firstly we are going to discuss about the damp damp means slightly wet this layer is slightly wet we found wetness wetness means a rainy effect or we can able to say a watery effect there and after that what is form a plant of large delicate leaf no flowers the plants which grows at under story doesn't found flowers they are mainly of different types of leaves but no flowers are found we be we able to see there so these plants are quite short plants like the trees you saw here are came under the under story so moving further what is canopy canopy a la layer of branches that spread like a roof this is the area of canopy this layer of branches which spread like a roof is called a canopy the fourth fourth one is emergent now what is emergent a small number of very tall trees as you saw emergent layer is here and only two trees are there who came under an emergent layer so it represents to the small number of very tall tree grows at the height beyond the canopy layer canopy layer finishes here but the trees who grows who reaches up to here represents to the emergency it's emergency level so hope you got this firstly we have discussed about the tropical rain forest tropical rain forest is quite hot and humid and we found it 10 degree uh, found between 10 degree north and 10 degree south latitude then we moves towards the climate how's the climate there we found hot and humid and wet climate there and the rain we found there is considered as a four o'clock rain and moving further we have discussed about the plant life there are four layers of the plant life the first one is the forest floor the second one is under story the third one is canopy and the fourth one is emergency layer so moving further now we are going to discuss about the wildlife in forest we found a variety of wild animals there like the some of the wild animal um, animals are african elephant mandrilla great apes these kind of wild animal we found in a equatorial rain forest of africa and moving further if we talk about the rain forest of south africa where what we found a jaguar anaconda spider monkeys such kind of animals we found in the rain forest of south africa and these two trop forest considered as an collectively considered as an amazon rain forest so these are the name of animal which is given here just read these names carefully and moving further we have life of people how is the life of people who live in particular regions the life of mainly we saw that the tribal people tribes the lady you look in the picture is tribe so mainly we saw the tribe peoples are living there they arranges their food shelters and medicine by themselves they hunt fishes and the other fruit they grow different kind of fruits berries and roots and mainly they done the primitive type of farming the primitive type of farming is considered as oldest form of farming or the oldest form of agriculture that is done just to satisfy their basic necessities or just to satisfy their hunger and this is also known as shifting cultivation now what do you understand by shifting cultivation shifting means um, changing one place to another so they are doing farming by changing the different patches of land which band is fit for that particular patch or that particular group they grow the group there and after that leave that land and move to the another place so which crops they grow like rice maize vegetable palm 
all such kind of uh, crops they grow at this region so well, how is the protection of the equatorial rainforest was there as equatorial rainforest was considered as very important why it is considered more important because it give you oxygen and remove excess carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and we all know that a human need an oxygen to live a healthy life that's why the amazon rainforest is also called as a lungs of earth lungs you all are aware how why the lungs are being used we all human beings have lungs that's why we are surviving so that's why the uh, amazon rainforest is considered as a lung of earth because it's provide you an oxygen and remove the carbon dioxide excess carbon dioxide which is not necessary in the atmosphere or which is hazardous for the atmosphere from the air but people are threatening threatening it day by day how they are threatening like the population is growing day by day with the uh, growth of population trees are clearing day by day forests are being cleared people just for the sake of agriculture are cutting down the trees fire forest fires are doing it on the regular basis so this is a hazardous effect which are doing by the people who so there is a great need to protect such kind of equatorial rainforest because of a good and healthy survival hope you got the first topic in this topic we have discussed about the equatorial rainforest the how is the climate there plant life wildlife and people living there and how why there is a need to protect the equatorial rainforest read it carefully in the next video we will discuss about the tropical desert